Artificial intelligence is able to do some wonderful things, such as automating monotonous tasks in business to help productivity, right through to developing self-driving cars and even life-saving medical procedures. And now it can also be used in the creative world, an area that some may have thought it might conflict with. By helping artists at the very beginning phase of a project who need to conceptualise landscapes for their art, NVIDIA Canvas is a painting application that uses AI to generate landscapes images from simple brushstrokes using shapes and lines along with a palette of real-world materials like grass, flowers, sand or clouds. Anyone can easily use the Canvas software to create realistic looking landscapes. Now it's currently available in beta for anyone with an NVIDIA RTX graphics card and it has nine styles that modify the look and feel of a painting and 20 different materials. You can paint on different layers to keep elements separate and you can choose whether to start from scratch or get inspired by one of the sample scenes plus to make it really easy to edit with your landscape once you've created your ideal image canvas lets you import your work into adobe photoshop so that you can continue to refine it or combine your creation with other artwork now for those who think this might present a threat for artists we've decided to show just how helpful this application can be to speed up your concept exploration so that artists can spend more time visualizing ideas and producing a finished piece Carol, an artist that works here at SCAN and who you might remember from the Era Cool Scribble Case video, is going to paint a piece of art using a landscape created in Canvas as a reference. But to make it more interesting and to give me a chance to explore NVIDIA Canvas, she's tasked me with creating the reference image for her. The only brief that I was given was that it had to include mountains, trees and some water. Now, not being an artist myself, it did take me a little while to get used to everything and the different results that you can achieve with different strokes and materials. But I quickly learned that drawing the outline strokes of, say, a mountain would look very different and more realistic once you use the paint fill tool. The beauty of this is that you can play around with the styles to get different feels and looks. And I actually ended up having so much fun with it and couldn't decide between which of my creations would be best for Carol. So I've given her four options. Let's see how she got on. And joining me in the studio now is the lovely Carol with her fantastic piece of art. Now we're going to talk through the process in just a moment, but before we do, I obviously haven't used Canvas very much before. So in terms of inspiration for you, how were the references that I gave you? Oh, there are a really great range <laughs> of colours. Um, I really enjoyed all of them. It was quite hard to pick just one, but I'm, I'm quite happy with the one that I settled with. Well, that's very kind of you to say. I must have mentioned earlier, it is a lot of fun once you get into it. I think the initial sort of few minutes of playing around, I was a bit overwhelmed, but it did become very easy to find out how to do it. So I'm glad that they helped you. If you hadn't had a reference image like this applied to you as an artist, then talk me through how ordinarily you'd go about that. Do you paint from imagination or do you kind of troll the internet for images or do you go out in nature? How does that work? So normally when I'm looking for a reference image, I will typically search through Google and I'll use software um, the one I particularly use is called Pro Pure Ref, okay. where you would um, pin all of the reference images that you can find from, from Google and then have that on your laptop just so that you have them all in one location. But that can take, like finding the right image can take up to two hours for me normally, sometimes wow. longer, just because there's not always the, the perfect image, which with something like NVIDIA Canvas, you can take out of that time and just get the image you want straight away. I guess you can almost create what's in, in your brain, if you like. Now, obviously, yeah. we did it a slightly different way around, whereby you tasked me because I don't know how to use it or didn't know before. Have you used it personally yourself? And if so, how did you find it? I have used it in the past, yeah. I really enjoy it because finding just the perfect inspiration is quite difficult. The only uh, drawback is at the moment it's only natural landscapes okay. but the the, the um, opportunities are sort of limitless with something like this um, it'd be really nice to see less natural landscapes so something like cityscapes something like um, uh, inside rooms and stuff like that oh wow yeah where anything that 
an artist could use um, inspiration for. It would just be really nice to have such an easy way to get that jump start into your creativity. So in terms of then when you've used Canvas, you mentioned that it might take around two hours or thereabouts looking for those images because you've got in your head where you'd like things to be and, and you're getting inspiration at that moment, I suppose, aren't you? How long did it take you when you're then on Canvas in terms of, so we can see kind of, do, does it save you time or how does that process work? How long does it take for you when creating something there? It can be something as easy as like as short as 10 minutes. Okay. Because, because it's really, um, once you know how to use the software, it, it's just really easy to get a rough sketch because naturally you're not wanting it to be um, perfect in Canvas, but it's nice to get as close as you possibly want um, in such a short amount of time because when you're looking for reference images, sometimes you'll find a close enough image, but it won't exactly have everything you want. Yeah. Whereas um, using NVIDIA Canvas, you can get a lot closer than you would otherwise. Uh, you mentioned there that Canvas helped to speed up that process, but in terms of actually inspiring you and maybe adding to that process, did it add anything at all, would you say? Yeah, I, I would personally say that it does add quite a bit. Being able to switch out and customise the image, you can get those initial sketches where um, if you were trying to draft out what you were trying to paint initially you would do a, like four different um, rough drafts before moving into a finalized piece um, but with this you can do that a lot quicker because it's um, you know predetermined brushes without needing to sort of draft up your image and sketch it out um, so yeah being able to switch out and sometimes you might be thinking oh I'd like a summertime scene but being able to switch it to winter on just a button, you can get those tests out much quicker than you would otherwise. I really enjoyed that actually because I started with an image and as I said I started with you know the quite crude lines and stuff that you think how's this going to make a pitch it took me a little while to realize if you put paint fill it looks much more realistic but then having the chance to play around with the variations and the different sort of inspirations for those is so easy to very quickly just tweak or you can yeah. take it right to the nth degree and make it completely different so as you say maybe yeah. winter versus summer nighttime versus daytime um, I did really enjoy that one and I can see how that would be beneficial. Let's go to maybe the controversial side then of something like this. We mentioned at the top, the creative world and art in particular is not necessarily an area where we would think that artificial intelligence would help. Perhaps some artists have been nervous thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to take away my job, you know, maybe certain designers or what have you. What, what's your personal take on that then? So I know it is um, quite quite a contentious topic at the moment. People are quite worried that the easier it gets to just get close enough to something creative, the less people feel secure in their ability to create and have that creativity be desired. But I feel like something like this only serves to benefit you. The less time you're spending planning as an artist, the more time you have to create and that means that you can you can create at a much faster rate. Um, any final thoughts then on NVIDIA Canvas and in fact the whole NVIDIA Studio Suite? Because there's some really interesting things, isn't there, that yeah. artists can be using to enhance rather than take away from the work that they're yeah. doing. So this is actually beneficial for a lot of different creative industries, not just traditional um, or digital art. People who work within 3D software like Autodesk Maya would benefit from being able to include this in the background of any 3D models they do. Um, authors might benefit from using this for being able to visualise the environments they're trying to describe through um, Word. And there's potentially benefits from including this into the VR space. Um, I also, with NVIDIA Canvas, I think it's something that anyone wanting to request art from an artist might benefit from because with it being so easy for them to put together the image they want, they can provide that and give that to the artist um, to like, ensure that communication is just at, at its best. So if you're willing to ask for some art from someone, you can be like, I want it like this, and you already have that image in mind and it speeds things up a little bit there. And NVIDIA's CES announcement as well, they hinted that 
software like this might be used in the metaverse, which is a really exciting space that a lot of us don't know a lot about at the moment. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, it'd be really interesting to be able to put together um, a landscape and then have that be explorable within a VR space. I can only see how this is something that'll be very beneficial to people. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Carol. As we've both said, lots of things to get excited about um, in future iterations of NVIDIA Canvas. Thank you very much for coming in and I'm sure we'll be seeing Carol here soon. As mentioned earlier, NVIDIA Canvas is available in beta mode via NVIDIA Studio or you can head to nvidia.com and search Canvas and you'll find it there. We'll also put the link in the description for you and if you don't already have NVIDIA Studio installed and you have an RTX card then definitely check out that for some great features for enhancing content. We've got plenty of videos on NVIDIA Studio on our Scan YouTube channel so you can have a look at those for more information and of course you can check out our range of 30 series and 40 series RTX RTX GPUs, as well as all our RTX PCs and laptop products at scan.co.uk. And if you've tried Canvas, let us know what you think and send in your images as we'd love to see what you're creating with AI.